people have looked and, and, you know, looked at Florida as been kind of the place to be over the last several years in our country. And I can rattle off all the statistics. We are the fastest growing state in the United States. Florida has led the country for many years now in net in migration. I think New York has led in net out migration. Uh, we are the number one state uh, for economic freedom, number one state for new business formations, number one state for tourism, number one state for education freedom, number one state for parental involvement in education, uh, number one in GDP growth uh, amongst the big states since I've been governor. We have one of the lowest per capita tax burdens in the country, one of the lowest per capita debt burdens in the country, uh, and we now have a record budget surplus. And so people see that. They see that our... Our unemployment rate's 2.5 percent. That's over a percentage point lower than the nation as a whole. For the first time in the history of the United States, Florida has more people employed than the state of New York does. And, you know, we've got a lot of retired people of our 22 million. So, so that's saying that, that we're doing things right. And, and people look at that and they say, well, you know, yeah, you were, you know, businesses were open during COVID, the lower taxes, all that stuff. You know, there's all these different reasons. And, and all those are important. Don't get me wrong. But I just want to tell you the foundation of Florida's success has been a commitment to law and order and support for the men and women who wear the uniform. As you see crime that has spiraled out of control in all these areas around our country over the last few years, Florida right now has a crime rate that's at a 50-year low. Now the question is, why do we have a 50-year low? Why is crime a big issue in New York or Chicago or all these other places? And I wish I could tell you that, like, Floridians are just so much better, but it's not the reason. It's not. The reason is, is we support strong policies to keep our communities safe, and we back the blue, and we support their mission, and we back it up with money and all kinds of stuff to be able to do it. The reason why you have what you have in some of these other jurisdictions is because they're putting woke ideology ahead of your safety as New Yorkers or as people from Illinois or wherever you have this type of policy taking place. So what have we done in Florida? When they were talking about defunding police and slashing budgets, we said, uh, not on my watch, that's ha not happening. But we also understood, I've got a state of 22 million people, I've got 67 counties, I've got all these municipalities. You know, you could have three bozos on some city commission do something stupid like that. And, you know, that's not necessarily something that we at that time had control over. So what we did is we passed legislation preventing any local government in Florida from defunding the police. They can try, but we'll put the money back in. We also saw, summer of 2020, the worst riots that the public disorder that this country has seen in decades. And it was really aided and abetted by woke ideologues and these feckless politicians. And so we didn't allow that to happen in the state of Florida. As soon as I saw this start happening in other states, we mobilized the National Guard, we dispatched all our state law enforcement agencies, but we worked hand in hand with police officers in Miami and all these other places. And we said, you are not going to burn down the state of Florida. And so they didn't burn down the state of Florida. So I know I will see some of you uh, in Florida at some point uh, in the near or, or sometime in the future. And, and, and we, we welcome. I, I will say, though, I mean, there are certain parts of Florida that are very, very crowded this time of year. Uh, good luck getting a dinner reservation in Naples in February or in some of these places in, uh, in southeast Florida. But, but we, we, we welcome everyone that wants to come uh, to serve in law enforcement. But I think even more important, because like, as much as I'm proud that Florida is doing well, I want the country to do well. I want all of these communities to do well. <laughs> and, 
And in order to do that, uh, we've got to get a re rego a commitment for law and order throughout every corner of this country. In Florida, we say uh, we fight the woke in the schools, we fight the woke in the legislature, and yes, we fight the woke when they go after our law enforcement. We do not surrender to the woke mob. Our state is where woke goes to die. Thank you all. God bless.